Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to use Adobe Audition as a music editor and how to get the most out of your music jingles using the Creative Cloud. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Audition. Take a look at that multi-track session. Wow, that's amazing. So many tracks, it is in fact a jingle. Here are a little sample right here. <laughs> And as you'll notice, all of these uh, little tracks here are broken down into the separate stems of the music. So if I isolate some of the bass, you'll hear the bass right there. And then I can bring in the claps like that. And I can also choose to bring in some fill effects as you'd hear in a normal nightclub. And perhaps even you would like to get a tiny bit of the kick. There it is. Followed by the wonderful melody. Finally, a bit of piano. So as you can see right there from that example, Adobe Audition is quite sufficient for mixing together multiple stems of music and editing a jingle or any kind of music that you're working on to make it sound great. Uh, a few tips you might want to apply when you're working in the multi-track of Adobe Audition CC. Let's get back at everything now uh, shining and uh, playing back just like that. Uh, you might want to identify the beats per minute of your track. Now, I happen to know that this is 125 BPM. See that right there? 125 BPM. I can change this by right clicking, going to time display, edit tempo, and then I just pop in the tempo and if there's a different custom frame rate or time signature, anything like that, I can change time format. I will select as bars and beats instead of uh, decimal, minutes, seconds and uh, all of that. We don't need that when we're editing music. It's nice to see the beats and the bars. Um, metronome, another great thing that you can use in Adobe Audition when editing music. Uh, here it is. Let's hear it on solo. Wonderful. And now we'll try and bring in something like the claps that should hopefully sync up. Perfect. And we'll try it with something else uh, a little more mel melodic like the piano. Have a listen to the metronome with the piano. And the melody. Okay, brilliant. So this is all great, but why would we use it? Uh, by the way, that's the solo button on the metronome. If I was to click this, it actually mutes the metronome. So you would have heard there, metronome was coming in and going away. So very handy. Um, so it's good for playing about with a music jingle you've got, or for instance, say, and let's uh, solo up the, the vocals here, you are playing with vocals and you want to stretch them and make them sound great over a music jingle. Music Radio Creative. Well, you can do all of that very easily in the multi-track session. And in this series of forthcoming videos, I will show you a little bit more about how to make some really cool sounding effects on music jingles using Adobe Audition as a music editor.